Hi guys, this is my second journal entry. Um, I'm calling Christ-like because this is basically following my walk with Christ and journaling day by day what I found most interesting in my quiet time and what I have to deal with and how to make it practical. So today one of the chapters I read was 2 Timothy 3 and I just want to give a bit of comment on that but before I do that I just want to emphasize that this is this shouldn't be your daily um, quiet time. You should also try to have your own in-depth reading of scripture and also time spending with God and praying through some of the stuff as well um, and praying for other people obviously as well um, but anyways uh, in today's scripture it's just quite challenging as I said uh, yesterday it will always challenge us if we truly follow Christ but I just want to read a, sh a short portion it's at the start of the, the chapter it says for men will be lovers of themselves Lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, thankful, unholy, unthankful and unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. When I read that, I'm like, well, isn't everyone like that? I mean, we live in perilous times then from long ago. But that's true. I mean, I think you and myself and everyone can identify with something in that portion. And it's very saddening to know that we are perilous men living in perilous times. But um, the, the thing that struck me most was um, where God says, yeah, lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God. And I mean, I'm, I struggle. I get caught up with the pleasures of this world all the time. And and um, we want to pursue pleasures. Um, I, oh, yesterday night um, we went to a pool competition. Sometimes I go out and try to chat with, with people. And one of the guys said, no, we, uh, we live to, to just have fun. And um, to try and be good. But scripture said that, says that no one can be good except the Father. Um, Said no one can be good except one, and um, it's so ironic that we try and live good lives and um, try to live for pleasure. But here, God says it's perilous times and perilous men who, um, who are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. So, first love God and um, then pursue life in life in abundance. And I mean, in loving God, you will have life in abundance, and that's a different pleasures uh, or a different pleasure than the pleasure of this world. Um, but then it goes on and it says, Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. And for, from such people, turn away. So, God just says, turn away from such people who, who show, uh, or has a form of godliness, but denies the power of God. And there's so much power with God through the Holy Spirit. But um, we should actually run away, away from brethren who are like that. But I mean, I'm like that. I, I have a, fo a form of godliness, but, uh, okay, well, I don't deny the power, but I deny the power sometimes. Um, so, it just makes me think, you know, um, where are we going? And uh, are we really pursuing Christ-likeness? And are we really pursuing godliness and um, accessing God's power? Um, but the, the great thing is that through Christ, we, we have salvation. And even though you can identify with one of these things that says yeah, um, that you are a perilous man or a woman in living in perilous times, there's grace because Jesus died for our sins. And that's the glory, glorious thing. So I'm just going to pray through some of these things on my own and um, ask God to forgive me because <laughs> I live like these men all the time. Okay, cheers.